I never thought a day would come whereby I'll listen to a song or an album and somehow somewhere I won't be able to connect with it. I don't know if it is the expectation or lack of expectation because to be honest, I really didn't have any expectation for this Blackbone album titled Sex Over Love. But then again, I've not been able to connect with the album. That said, good day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and members of the Chacha Nation. Welcome to another episode of the Chacha Album Review Series with your musical plug and creator of the Energy Force, Afis Tunova. Today, I'll be talking about the Black Bones album titled Sex Over Love, which was released on the 30th of April 2021. The album has 14 tracks with featured artists such as Joe Boy, Tiwa Savage, Check, Psycho YP, AQ, Lekon, Wanda Baton, Buju, Amera, Nasty C, and Bad Boy Teams. And the production credit goes to the likes of Beats by J, Type A, Blaze Beat, Exquisite Beat. 2Z and Spaz. Like I said at the beginning, this is a good album. I like the fact that Blackbone stuck with the theme of the album which is Sex Over Love. It really made the album a sexual album. So yes, this album is not suited for kids. Pure adult content is what you get on this album. Now, I know I said this album is pure adult content, but that doesn't mean that every song on the album was just basically about sex. I mean, songs like Heartbreaker, which features Nazi C, which is one of my favorite songs on the album. Sleeping talks about how Blackbone does not believe in love relationship, saying he's a heartbreaker and he is not a lover. Another song that caught my attention on this album is the song titled Don't Touch, and on this one, Blackbone shows that even though he is all about that sex, he still has an emotion in him and that emotion is known as jealousy. So if you know that that girl is with Blackbone, my guy, don't touch her because 20 man shall fall that day. Now what makes me love this song more is the straight trap flows that Blackbone did towards the end of the song. If I'm to choose my best song of this album, it will probably be TGF Pussy. Blackbone did what he knows how to do best on this song. On a sick production coming from Beat by J, Blackbone went straight up rap and he killed it as expected. Though I just wish that Reminis could have featured on this song. I feel like this is a song that Reminis will kill. Another song I will talk about is the song titled Faji. First of all, I love the production of this song and I love the chorus of the song. But instead of Wonder Batten, I would have preferred a Pataranquin or a Young Earl. Now, no disrespect to Wonder, I mean, it did the best it could do. But these guys that I mentioned would have killed this dance or inspired song better. Shout out to Bad Boy Teams, he also came through on this song. The last individual song that I will be talking about is the song titled Zombie, which features Psycho YP, AQ, and Lecon. This is a decent collaboration. Shout out to Beats by Jay, he really came through on the production. And no disrespect to Lecon on this track, he did the best that he could. But this wasn't a song that he should have featured on. A Young Six, or even a Jack, or even a YC would have killed this verse better than Lecon. And talking about Jack, he featured on a song um, titled Best Friend, and I felt like Blackbone should have just allowed, you know, check take that song all through. And what's up with the auto tune on this song? Like, waiting happen. I have to be honest. I think one of the things that has not really made me connect with this album well is the auto tune. The auto tune is just way too much. There's a certain volume level that you can take the song to that the auto tune will not become annoying. Like I said at the beginning. This is a good album, but somehow on a personal level, I still can't connect with the album and I cannot rate this album based on my personal conviction because then I'll be sounding biased. So I had to reach out to some of, you know, my chatter gang to hear their opinion on the album and this was what they have to say. Good day ladies and gentlemen of the Cha Cha Gang, my name is Pak Lokito and I'm right here on the Cha Cha Album Review where I'll be doing a brief review of the Sex Over Love album by Black Bones. The album is a pretty decent album, it's more pop than rap, production was generally brilliant and the featured artist actually delivered save for a few of sides from Lecon and uh, Superboy Check on the track CGF Pussy, it was a pretty short track and I think uh, I think Black Bones should be doing a remake with YC or Young Six. These two artists should do a pretty decent job on that track and I think Lecon should have been replace Reminis. He was pretty lazy on that track. He was more topsy turvy and I think uh, Reminis would have been more bra braggadocious on that track. Check was pretty, pretty, pretty not there on, on the best friend track. Yes, he he's the go-to guy for, for trap music presently in Nigeria, but he was not really there on, on the best friend track. Black Bones actually stuck to the cut him of the, of the album, which is Sex and he deviated minimally. Standout tracks on this album include Bling, Okwaraji, BC Remix and Abba. Sex of all of album is more sex than any other thing. It's not a typical rap album. Final verdict for this album should be 6 over 10. It's a pretty decent album. The production was pretty decent. Black Bones doing more of lazy singing than rap. But then, if you're looking at a pop album, this should stand toe to toe with recent pop album releases in the Nigerian music space. Okay, I'm um, Caleb Richard by name. Sex Over Love 
by Black Bones. I think it's a great album for one, for a young star like Black Bones. I like the fact that the messages he had to pass across to his fans on the album are in correlation to the title of the album. It's a really mad one, like all we have to hear, you know, is the fact that sex is greater than love and stuff like that. So I also love the future. I think Blink is my favorite song on that album because of, you know, that mad Buju and Amari future. It was really mad, like a crazy song. You guys should go listen to it. But on that song he had with um zombie, yeah, zombie song future in the con, psycho YP and um, AQ. I don't really like it. I think the production is not really nice. Yes, it wasn't nice, so I just didn't like that one. But all other songs on the album were quite fire, like the um heartbreaker future with um nasty C. Ah, that was really crazy, really, really crazy. Best friend with them. Um, but boy check it was nice i love that one and uh, the production is okay yeah like the um, producers they did try on the album and stuff like that so black bones really did magic on this album yeah so yeah my name is uncle tochi here is my own review on the black bones album now the first track nova king the track that i was talking about uh, how people or his competitors are scared that he's back but he doesn't care it's just about pushing his stuff and i love what he did he brought it this uh, face off between him and his guys when he was just starting great stuff now the fourth track never been in love just like name sounds he has never been in love he's all about sex over love and um there's a line i love he wants to eat the pussy like a grocery <laughs> mad stuff sixth track gf pussy black bones killed this track my second fifth so far now Fadji is like a Fadji track a cruise track um he brought bad boy themes on this one and um it's all about Fadji now zombie it's one track i don't understand what it was a great tune from a great guy now harbor harbor it was a cruise jam more like it was high when we were making this jam yeah great jam great street album from a great guy and i know this album is definitely gonna do things on various charts general like i said this is a good album i would have preferred if blackbone did more of rapping than actual singing and not that he sang bad just that the singing didn't just you know connect very well with the whole you know album there were some few good songs on the album like i rightly mentioned but then again everything at the end didn't just you know sound well but like i said the album is a good album so there you have it folks listen to the album and tell me what is your take on the album and for those of you that have listened to the album you can drop a message on my socials that is at chacha music board telling me what's your take on the album so like come your way with another album review series my name remains a fist turnover your musical plug creator of the energy force peace out